fifth grade. Today you are starting your April calendar collector and you will be collecting three-fourths of a fraction of money and time for each day. Um, this video will cover days one through five, so be sure to follow along on your paper that was either copied on notebook paper, printed, or even if you took a screenshot and are writing on that, that is perfect. So we're going to focus on money first for days one through five and then time for days one through five just to be consistent. All right. So our fraction for day one is three fourths because we started with nothing. There we go, the computer kind of froze. Three fourths, which is the same in money as 75 hundredths. I just wanted to draw that equivalent fraction for you all. So that's easy peasy, that's our fraction. And to write that as a decimal, we just write it out how we would write 75 cents. So zero decimal, seven five, which that's the same as 75 hundredths. Moving on to day two, our fraction, okay, is going to be, we're gonna practice adding our fractions, 75 hundredths plus, 75 hundredths because we're just adding three fourths, so it's the same thing. So we're going to add just the numerator or the top. So 75 plus 75. So I think I have three quarters and I have three more quarters to that. How much money do you have? We have a dollar fifty or 150 cents. And our denominator is 100. We want to change that because it is an improper fraction. Right? So how you know it's an improper fraction is when your numerator is greater than your denominator. So we don't want that to happen. If it does, we just fix it by taking whatever the denominator or the bottom is out of the top and because that would be one whole. So I noticed it's 150. So I'm going to take that 100 out because it's 100 one hundredths or one whole and we're left with 50 hundredths. We could simplify that fraction as one half, but to make it easier for day three, we're going to leave it into hundredths. Our decimal for day two includes a whole number, so $1 and 50 cents. Okay. How you say that in math terms is one in 50 hundredths. Look at day three. We're taking our dollar 50 or one in 50 hundredths and we're adding another 75 hundredths to it because that is three fourths. So this is great practice with mixed numbers. So when adding mixed numbers, the whole amounts kind of group together. And then if we need to adjust, we will. So one stays one for right now. And then we're gonna take 50 plus 75. So two quarters plus three quarters is five quarters. So if you have five quarters, how much money do you have? You have 125 hundredths. And again, we have an improper fraction, so we need to pull out that one whole and combine it with the other one whole. So if we pulled out 100, because that's 100 hundredths, that'll be, that one becomes a two, because we're adding that to it, and you have 25 hundredths. To write that as money, we're gonna just write $2, 25 cents. Great job, let's look at day four. We are taking our $2.25 or 25 hundredths and adding 75 hundredths to that. Okay, so recall that whole number, that two is gonna stay by itself for right now. 
and we're going to add 25 plus 75. So one quarter plus three quarters gives you four quarters. So how much money is four quarters? Four quarters is 100 cents, okay? Which if we look, 100 one hundredths is one whole. So that is essentially two plus one. So we have a whole number for our answer, which is three. We are going to write that in money as three dollars even. All right, one more. We're going to take three. We're adding another three fourths of a dollar to it, so 75 hundredths. That's going to equal, very simply, 73 and 75 hundreds. Right, that one was nice. Right, to write it as a decimal, we're writing it in terms of money, so three dollars, 75 cents. All right, great job on that one, and let's look at our time now. Okay, so three fourths, I'm gonna do the fraction first on this one. Three fourths of an hour is the same as 45 sixtieths. Because if we recall, an hour has 60 minutes. And if we were to split that into groups of four, that's 15 minutes. Three groups of 15 is 45. Okay, so our minutes for our first one are 45 minutes. All right. For minutes two, we are just going to add 45 plus 45 to equal 90. Okay, so we're going to do our adding on our minutes on this one. So to make that a fraction, we're taking our minutes and it will be over 60, because that's the total amount of minutes in an hour. And we have an improper fraction, so we need to change that. So again, you're going to take your denominator amount, so 60, okay, subtract that out of 90. So 90 minus 60, or nine minus six is three. We're gonna keep the zero there. So that's 30 sixtieths, and that 60 that we subtracted out goes at the very, very beginning because it was one whole. There we go. All right, let's add our minutes. We had 90 minutes earlier. We're adding another 45 minutes. We'll give you all a second to Add those up. All right, and we should arrive at 135 minutes. All right, to put that into fraction form, we're going to take 135 over 60, okay? And we need to make this a mixed number. So we need to think how many times, how many whole groups of 60 can I pull out of 135? So I'm gonna move to another line just to kind of show it. I'll erase it in a second. I know 60 plus 60 equals 120. So that's two holes. And we can take that out of 135. So two. And then if we take 135 minus that 120, so that two holes that we took out, you are left with 
15. Okay, so that is our fractional amount. 15 sixtieths. Okay, I'm going to delete that. All right. Day four. You had 135 minutes earlier. You are adding 45 more minutes. Take a second and add that up. All right. We should have arrived at 180 minutes. Okay, now we have, we're taking our minutes over 60. And again, we have that mixed improper fraction that needs to become a mixed number. Okay, so we want to think, well, how many times can 60 go into 180? So if we pause and look at that 180, if we pretend that's just 18, 18 is a multiple of six. So if you counted by sixes, six, 12, 18, okay, we know that's gonna take three groups of 60. So we have three holes. Da -da -da. All right, that one was nice. Our next one and last one, 180 plus 45, oops. Take a moment and add those together. And we should have arrived at 225. Okay, rather than we all well, show two ways. We could look at this as 225 60ths, okay? Or we could recognize the fraction amount before this was a whole number, and all we did was add 45 60ths to this. So we could take that three from above and add 45 60 to it, okay? We don't actually have to do the mental math to make that improper fraction of mixed number. All right, great job, fifth grade. Thank you for hanging in there with me and be sure to complete all your lessons today.